Welcome back to the Spellcaster Devlogs, where we make a Metroidvania based mostly off um, spellcasting. So, um, a few, I've made a few major changes. So, first of all, instead of using Unity, we are now using Godot. <laughs> um, so, I wasn't going to switch, but then um, I, one day, I dropped my laptop, and now it doesn't work as well as it does. A long time ago, or before the job. So, um, Unity was also using like half of my available RAM. My code had to use up like another quarter, so that would leave pretty much nothing for me to like go online and research what I'm supposed to be doing. So, I made the switch to Godot, and now we're making the game with Godot. So, um, basically, if you're new, welcome. You have not missed out on anything at all, except for maybe like couple of videos of planning and how I do things, but we're now using Godot, so this is the Godot editor. Um, I will not be giving a full explanation of how Godot works and stuff, because there's plenty of those already, like I think Brachys is back, if you want to know how to use Godot, go to him, he makes some very great videos. Um, but yeah, um, this, this is Godot, everything is a node here. Um, I like that joke where in Java everything is a class, in um, Python everything is an instruction, whatever it was, I forgot. Um, but yeah, here we, everything is a node. So here is my, here is what the my game scene looks like. Alright, so um, I don't have much right now. Um, let me play. Also, there's nothing that's sh um, really good about this. This took like, what, like 20 seconds for... Um, Unity to compile every single time I change something. Here, I don't even need to recompile, I can just keep leave it running and when I save something then it will automatically refresh, which is brilliant. Like, I don't know why Unity doesn't do that, but whatever. Um, we move and we're now using Godot, so let me like, make this file a little bit better. Alright, so very simplistic, we have, oh my gosh, it looks ugly as hell. Hold on, it looks ugly as actual hell and when you change stuff. Alright, there we go. Um, Welcome to the Godot project. Um, so it's all very simplistic. Up in the upper left corner, we have a health bar. We can decrease the health down to zero, which doesn't do anything. We can just increase up to five, which is currently the maximum. Um, you have your mana bar, which I've actually bothered to put a little bit more thought into the mana bar. Um, and now, when I press this button, it'll go down. You also can also see also like flashes, colors when it like increases. I set the rate of increase to very fast, so for testing purposes will not be this fast during game, and also turns a different colour when it's like fully, um, when it's full. So you, now that you know about the mana bar. And we've also got this, um, player, which we can move around. It's got all the player stuff, like you can hold jump, and then you'll keep on jumping. It's got the coyote jumping, where you can run off the ledge and then just jump. Oh, like, ah, stop. Like this, there you go. So it's basically to make it so that if you don't jump away on the platform, it's fine. We've also got variable jump height, so if I tap, Compared to when wanna like hold, there's a big difference. Um the better bar we've built. We've also got the we've also got a basic sword. Sword. Um we can attack left, right, up, down. There we go. It's a little bit wonky and stuff, but it works. We've also got a inventory system. This I this is blank because I haven't put a icon yet, but uh ignore that. But yeah, we can move around the inventory and stuff, and then if we select an item here you can see what it's supposed to be. Um Obviously, I'll actually add um, the functionality for switching because you can't do anything right now. You can't switch. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for you this video. I know it's a little bit boring. This is not the amount of content I usually have, by the way. It's just a little bit shorter because um, I literally just switched to GD script and I'm still throwing things out. Um, so because this is all new and stuff, I want to start new. I want to like post weekly videos. I'll try. Um, it probably won't end up being that way, but I will definitely try post weekly videos. So, like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more. Um, also, we have this one guy who responded to my form last week uh, with a enemy idea. I'm really sorry, but that's going to have to wait for like quite a while longer because I'm going to have to rework this. Um, but yeah, I will definitely be implementing that because it definitely looks like it could be a cool idea. Um, also, what is this bit of statement? Hey! Like, it doesn't look like absolute shit, okay? It's just partially shit. Don't worry, I'll make it look better this time. I hope. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you this, um, that's all I have for you here. Um, uh, so, 
So yeah, like, subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you all in the next devlog, where hopefully I'll get more stuff done.